On June 19, in 1965, a very famous man was standing on the stage at Antioch University in Yellow Springs, Ohio. He had just six months earlier won the Nobel Peace Prize, and due to, to sorry, I'm shaking, <laughs> <laughs> and due to death threats from the KKK, there were armed guards surrounding the groups on the commencement ceremony where he was to speak. He said, I cannot stand on the campus of Antioch College without a deep sense of appreciation for all that this great institution of learning has given to the cultural, the social, and political life of our nation and the world. Dr. Martin Luther King spoke for almost an hour that day, 51 years ago. He spoke about the challenges of his time, and he spoke of the challenges of the future. He spoke of love, compassion, and understanding. He spoke of unity, and he spoke of divisions. He spoke of a responsibility to do good, and he spoke of learning. When I started at Antioch, I didn't know what I would learn, and I didn't know how I would learn, but I did learn. I learned that it's okay to fail. I'm still learning. <laughs> I learned that I don't know everything, or even close to everything. In fact, I learned from Guy Smith that the more I know, the more I know I don't know. <laughs> I learned how every single one of us has a story, and I learned how to take a step back and listen. I learned that I would sometimes feel lost and broken, I've learned a lot. I will be walking out the campus doors of Antioch with so much more than just a diploma. I will have gained friends for life, appreciation for our planet, oh, gosh. <laughs> and the knowledge that I can make a difference in this world as well as in my own life. There's nothing scarier in life than living. There is nothing as daunting as growing up. And there is nothing more intimidating than realizing that no one else but us are responsible for our own happiness. It's terrifying, but here we are. We are the creators of our own happiness, which seems like quite a cliche coming from a usually cynical lips, uh, but it's true. And if we now have the tools to try to create that happiness. We can become whatever we set our minds to. We can stand up against injustices and we can help each other along the way. On that day in June, 51 years ago, Dr. Martin Luther King said, this is our opportunity. This is our great challenge. And I submit to you this morning that as we go into this day ahead, and this new age that is emerging, the great challenge facing us is to be participants, involved participants, in the struggle to make brotherhood and justice realities in our day and in our age. So let's listen to the words of Dr. King and take that opportunity in this new age that we're heading into. Because we are Antioch students, and we are the ones that will go out, to, out, will go out into this new world with a conscious step because we know what part we play. We have learned how much we don't know, and we have learned not to be discouraged by it. We have learned that we will always learn, and that we will never know best, but that will not stop us from trying. Because we are Antioch students, and I believe in us. <laughs> 